All right, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Last time we finished up chapter three, we invaded the Schwarz auction and met up with Kia. Um, she was for some reason in the auction itself. What that means, I don't want to know. Oh yeah, she's on the roof. And uh, now we we did all the intermission with Kia. And then, now we're in chapter 4, and we have Noel with us, because there's something going on in the ruins uh, over by uh, the main mountain path, over in the Moon Temple. So we've got Stargazer's Tower, Moon Temple, uh, I think I see where this is going. So yeah, um... So without further ado, we have some support requests to take care of. Let's see, we have Statewide Overdue Book Retrieval. We have Creative Cooks Wanted, A Sincere Favor, and West Crosswell Highway Monster Extermination. Uh, let's do Sincere Favor, since that one's considered short. Uh, let's see, where is this one? La Long Loud Tavern and Inn. So we gotta go to East Street. Alright, uh, to East Street we go. Long Loud, Long Loud, Long Loud. Alright, so we're looking for this Anton guy. Hello? Okay, so this is not. Anton. Oh, did they finally decide on their business? Because when, when they talking about, like, they want to start up a business and whatnot. I seem to recall that. Hello. I'm begging you, Idios. Please let me meet that, uh, with that beautiful, uh, angel again. Excuse me, are you Anton? Yep, that's me. Who are you, though? We're with the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. We're here to consult you about a support request. Oh, I've been waiting for you. There's a huge favor I need from you, and I'm kind of in a hurry. Will you hear me out? Yeah, we will. The request said that you're trying to locate a woman, right? Yeah, I really need to find her so I can give her my thanks. She pulled me out of the darkness when no one else could. Care to elaborate? Sure, my best friend Ricky and I came here from Liberal. <laughs> yep, it's the same. To be honest, my life stinks. I figured visiting somewhere a little bit more exciting might help turn it around. Fair enough. Nothing changed, though. I still got sucked across the face by the cold, cruel reality of my life. To make matters worse, I managed to lose my wallet, along with my travel expenses. Ouch, that sounds unfortunate. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, leave it to someone as dull and hopeless as myself to screw up that badly. I really am, uh, my own worst enemy, aren't I? Ricky already tried to help me find my wallet, but it was to no avail. I had no clue, uh, I had no choice but to start borrowing money from him. I also considered cutting our trip short. However, that was when it all began. Just when all hope was lost, that kind lady gave me, uh, the helping hand I needed. Man, I'm jealous. Not a lot of gals out there are that nice. Seriously, it was all thanks to her efforts that I was able to get my wallet back in one piece. As you can imagine, I thought our meeting had to have been faded. She, helped, uh, she held out her hand for me when I was trapped in an endless pit of darkness. So to me, she's nothing short of an angel. So, to make an unnecessarily long story short, you want us to find this girl, right? Exacto mundo. Problem is, I've been searching for her for the last three weeks, but I haven't found a single lead. I've asked the, I asked the Bracer Guild to help a uh, poor guy out, but they turned me down. They claimed that it'd uh, be a low-priority case, since she isn't exactly missing. They had far more important work they needed to focus on. Hell, if this were liberal, I'd be able to get help with something as mundane as a drinking contest. I remember this. Are you okay? 
I'm fine. Just reopen an old wound. Anyway, moving along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Ricky heard about your team while he was out on the town, so he submitted a request for me. Your team is pretty much like the Bracer Guild, right? Come on, help a poor guy out. Well, sure. Why not? Huh? I didn't know the SSS handled requests of this nature. Your work has a much wider scope than I thought it did. To be fair, something like this is quite rare. So, what's the plan, Lloyd? I do not uh, know how I feel about the CPD involving themselves in other people's personal affairs. She makes a good point. Gotta be honest with you guys, I kinda wanna scope out this chick. What's she look like, anyway? Bet she's cute as heck, yeah? Cute as heck doesn't even begin to describe her. I still have her burned into my memory. Gentle uh, soothes the most uh, dissolute of men. Her calm voice oozes with kindness. And don't even get me started on her utterly adorable auburn pigtails. Huh? I can't help but shake the feeling that I know someone like that. I agree. That sounds awfully familiar. Is he talking about Estelle? No. Wait. Auburn. Auburn's brown, right? I'm not really familiar with that one. <clears throat> I, too, seem uh, to recall encountering someone of a similar description frequently. That makes me think Estelle. Well, he's clear. Oh, no. Oh. My bad. Well, he's clearly talking about our friend, ain't he? Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> I I couldn't remember what Auburn was. I was like, wait, Estelle? Wait a minute. Because <laughs> thinking about it now. If it were Estelle, I'm pretty sure he would remember her. Considering we helped him with that drinking contest. Wait a second. You guys know her? There's a strong chance we do. You said she had auburn colored hair. Was it roughly the same color as mine? Yeah. It is. It totally is. No, wait, don't tell me. Are you related to each other? As long as this isn't the world's biggest coincidence, I'm actually her older sister. Oh, sweet Idios, you've done it again. You hear that, Ricky? Fate strikes again. Sure, Anton. If that's what your heart believes, then maybe you're right. Though, you're kind of ignoring the possibility that she might not be actually the one. Excuse me, dear sister. What? Do you have, you know, a romantic partner already? Or does she? Huh? Um, not that I've heard of. We don't live together, but she's never told me anything of the sort. I see. Anyway, I'd really like to show her my most heartfelt thanks before I head back to Liberal. Would you do me the great honor of asking her to meet with me? Hmm. Well, I suppose I don't mind. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? Alright, we'll accept your request. Yes, thank you so, so, so much! Okay, then I'm counting on you guys. Please get, get her to promise to meet with me again. Now that it's settled, we should head over to the department and see if we can get a hold of her. I bet she's manning the reception desk right now. Good idea. I'll come along with you. I don't know why I thought it was this. It was like, no, she clearly just has brown hair. It's the closest I could think of. Yeah, no, that Auburn is definitely not what I think of. Was not what I was thinking it was. I don't know colors that well. Here it looks more like red. I don't know. Hiya, everyone. Oh, and you uh, still have no Noe with you, too. Did you guys run into a snag while you were investigating those ruins? No, not quite. We're actually here to speak with you, Fran. With me? Did I do something wrong? No, we're in the middle of an important request. 
You see, there's a tourist claiming that you helped him during the last day of the anniversary festival. You apparently helped him find his wallet. Does that ring any bells? Hmm, a wallet. Let me think about that for a second. Oh, right. I do remember that. He's a travel f traveler from Real Liberal, right? So he, uh, he really did meet Fran. Boy, let me tell you, that was one hard day. I was on my way home from work when I ran into a man on the verge of tears. I knew I couldn't just leave him like that. When we were, uh, we were out past sundown trying to track down that darn wallet of his. Leave it to Fran to drop everything to help some poor schmuck uh, she doesn't even know. Well, I am a member of the police force. It's my duty to help those in need, too. I called HQ over and over again to see if the wallet got turned in. Funnily enough, we found, uh, we found it under his bed at the inn he was staying at. I was, was relieved it wasn't stolen, at least. So it was a, all a false alarm. Anyway, uh, what do you need from me? Did something happen to him? Actually, we found out his name is Anton, and he's still here in Crossbell City, even though the festival is well over. He's been trying to track you down for weeks, and he doesn't want to leave until he's had the chance to thank you. That's why his friend submitted a request to the SSS to help him out. Wow, really? He's gonna make me blush. What do you say, friend? Can you do it? No one's forcing you to meet him, so you have every right to refuse if you don't want to. No, that's okay. I don't mind meeting him. He's been trying his hardest to find me, right? Seriously? You really don't have to help us just because it's a support request. Oh no, that's not why I'm doing it. I kind of want to meet him too. Doesn't this feel so exciting? Oh, but I might not be able to make time for him considering I'm working. If that's the case, then it's out of our hands. Excuse me, everyone. What's up, Rebecca? I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation like this, but... It's almost time for Fran's lunch break, so why don't you ask him to meet you during it? <clears throat> really? Do you mind? It's a little unorthodox, since you're technically on duty, but you should have enough time to meet. As long as you do it during your break, I'll be able to hold down the fort. Rebecca, you aren't doing this for your own amusement, are you? Well, since you're going out of your way to help me out, I'll accept your offer. Well then, about this little rendezvous, would, uh, Vink accept in... How do you pronounce that first word, Vink? Vink accept in Central Square be alright? <sighs> Controller. I can head there in a little bit. Well, as long as you're okay with it. We should go and tell Anton the plan. Make sure he knows I'm looking forward to it, too. Fran, don't tell me he, she's actually interested in this Anton guy. What's up, Noel? You look kind of conflicted. <clears throat> it's nothing, Randy. I'm fine. Anyway, Lloyd, let's go report the news to Anton. Sounds good. Alright, to uh, the inn. All right, back at the inn. Let's go tell Anton the news. Hello again, Anton. Oh, you guys are back already? How'd it go? Did you get Fran to agree to meet with me? Surprisingly enough, yes. She seemed, uh, she seemed receptive to the whole idea. She'll be on break soon, so she'd uh, like to meet you at, a, at the restaurant in Central Square. Uh, oh! Thank you so much. I don't know how I'll ever repay you for this. Man, oh man, I don't think a bum like myself would ever get a lucky break. He seems a little overly thrilled. I'm glad it wor it's working out for you, Anton. Oh right, I need to find her an appropriate gift to thank her for the, her help. I don't actually have anything prepared for her. Dude, seriously? Should have had that plan well in advance. Nate's already knocking on your damn door. Hey, can you blame me? I didn't think I'd be meeting her this quickly. Oh, I know just a thing. Pardon me, dear sister. Would you be willing to accompany me to Times? Times? What do you want? Uh, why do you want to go there? 
It's a perfect place to find a present for Fran. Your sister, so I figure you have all the kinds of insider knowledge on her tastes and hobbies. I could find her the perfect gift. Right. On that note, I'd really rather you didn't call me dear sister. Oh, by the way, the rest of you will also help me pick out a present, right? Uh, don't look at me with those puppy dog eyes. This is becoming more bothersome by the second. Well, we've come this far, so may as well see it through to the end. Alright, shall we go to times then? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Thanks a bunch, you guys. Someone's a little overly excited. Well, we should probably hurry and pick out Fran's present. We're almost out of time, Lloyd. Fran's going to show up at the restaurant any minute now, you know. Randy's right, Lloyd. Since he... Uh, since he invited her, making her way wouldn't be very polite. What do we do then? I propose we divide into two teams. Ellie, Randy, and I will go to the restaurant in advance. Once there, we will explain to Fran that this so-called rendezvous is slightly delayed. And in the meantime, Noel and I can uh, pick up and help pick. There, Noel. Noel and I can help Anton pick and pick out a present. I think that would be the most efficient course of action at this point. I can't thank you enough, for every, uh, enough, everyone, for everything. I'm truly blessed to have met such kind and charitable people. Please don't start crying, I beg you. Anyway, let's go with Tio's plan. I'm counting on you guys. Leave it to us. Try to be brief. Better arrive with a present that will knock her dead. You know, uh, with happiness. <clears throat> Running on borrowed time, so let's get the to the department store. Anton, keep your eyes peeled. Sergeant Major, speak up if you see something Fran might like. <sighs> I don't suppose I have any other choice. I'm in your debt, dear sister. You could be a little respectable, dude. Uh, one sec. All right. Hello. Welcome to Luca Boutique. We have every style of clothing you uh, could ever ask for, from children's clothes to fancy business suits. If you need anything or have any questions, just let me know. Actually, we're looking for a present for a young woman. It's, if it's a gift for a young lady, then let's see what we have in stock. Why not go with one of our newest products, the Knitted Palm Beanie? I assure you, she'll become infatuated with the soft, fluffy sensation of the white palm. A beanie? Well, I could definitely see Fran wearing this, considering how cute she is. Me too. It would probably match most of her regular outfits, I think. But I'm not sure how well a hat like that would mesh with her hair. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Looks like uh, this would be a risky bet. Give it to me straight, Lloyd. Do you think uh, getting this beanie is a good idea? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. I'm sure Fran would love something like this. When you put it like that, I think you might be onto something. I'll take it. If you don't mind, could you wrap it in uh, with something pretty for me? Why, of course. Just give me a moment. He's going the whole nine yards. Thanks, you two. I never would have been able to pick out something like this by myself. All I can do now is hope Fran loves it. Well, you won't know until you actually give it to her. Oh, shoot. It's almost time for us to meet everyone over at uh, Ving Sept. Why don't we... Uh, we don't want to keep Fran waiting. It's finally time. I think I'm ready. Oh, boy. Here we go. Lloyd and Anton are late. What's taking them so long? Who can say? I don't know it. I do know it is quite rude to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> dudes are, but uh, dudes put just as much care into getting dressed as lady putting put into getting dolled up. Wow, Randy, you must be pretty experienced if you know that off the top of your head. You can tell. I do what I can not to brag. How, uh, how about going, 
uh, on a date with me next time, friend. Um, I'd make sure to show you the coolest places around town. You deserve it, after all. Aw, you flatter me, Randy. Randy, are you seriously hitting on her at a time like this? It was just a little joke to lighten the mood. Sorry about the wait, everyone. Oh, it's Lo Lloyd and Noe, and er... Uh, uh, good afternoon. Long time no see. No, I mean, sorry to make you uh, wait so long. My hello, Anton. Y you know my name? All oh, right. Lloyd and the others told me your name earlier. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha. Got a bit too excited over that one. Are you guys a little, uh, late? Sorry about that. Choosing a present took longer than we anticipated. It was the first stall we chose. Well, at least you were able to find something. Is it nice? Um, well, it should be fine. I don't think it's too bad, if that means anything. Alright, you two. Save the chit-chat for the meal. Brand doesn't have too long a break, right? Better not waste any time. Good point. Well, Anton, shall we find a table? Yeah, definitely. Well, I say we move on up to the second floor. It'd be kind of hard for us to keep watch on them from here, you know? You want to eavesdrop on them? Come on, you can't tell me that you aren't worried about how this will go down. Watching over our clients until the request is complete is part of the job. That's right, it's our duty to see this through. Sorry, but I'm a little nervous about this whole thing. You too? Well, I guess you have a point. Besides, Anton looks like he's sweating bullets. Maybe keeping an eye on him is, uh, for the best. We can check in. We can keep him in check. Sweet. Since it's decided, let's head upstairs. Someone's not taking this very seriously. Why are we at a table for four? Uh, yeah, they told me that you still remembered me, friend. Well, of course. It happened on the last day of the anniversary festival. How could I forget? That sure was a rough day. You haven't dropped your wallet again, have you? Of course not. After all uh, the effort you spent to find it, I'm never letting it out of my sight again. <laughs> You're right, Anton. Yes, I don't understand what part of that was funny, but I think things are going to... Okay. That reminds me, Anton. After I found your wallet, you kept on spacing out a lot. You know, I was worried that you came down with a fever or something. I was probably just captivated by your good looks. Hmm? Did you say something? Nope. <laughs> Poor Anton still has a long way to go when it comes to the ladies. You ain't gonna be able to pick up chicks if you can't say the stuff without mumbling. But you know, they seem to be getting along pretty well. Fran is chatting away like usual. Anton, on the other hand, still looks pretty tense. Fran's about as social as you can get. Definitely way more than me, at least. She would act like this even if she only just met the person. Noelle, are you alright? You appear to be bothered by something. Well, I wouldn't go that far. It's just, sure, she's always well-liked by everyone, but I've never seen her actually flirt with anyone before. And yet, she's act acting unusually friendly with Anton. You're just worried about your sister, aren't you? I, I mean... I guess that's it. She's my little sister, you know? Of course I'm worried. I guess she's the type of older sister to worry easily. I sure hope I didn't, uh, don't give seal cause for concern like this. Well, guys, look. That, uh, that right there is the face of a man who knows what he wants. I think he's finally pun pulling the trigger. Um, hey, Fran. Yes? Is something wrong? Well, I just want to explain why I was searching for you. I wanted to show my gratitude, uh, to you for not giving up on finding my wallet during the anniversary festival. So, will you accept this? Anton gave Fran a knitted palm beanie. Wow, wow, wow! A white palm hat? 
My sister Noe actually likes to wear a white hat like this when uh, not in uniform. This is perfect. I wanted a white hat to match hers for a while now. Thank you so much, Anton. I swear I'll treasure it forever and always. Yes, she loves it. Here we go. It's now or never, Anton. Friend, do you have someone you like? Huh? Um, no, not really. Oh, but there is someone I love with all my heart. What's the matter, Anton? Uh-oh. Was he already shot down? I think the fact that Fran didn't mean anything by the comment made it cut even deeper. Sadly, I don't think there's anything we can really do in a case like this. Shall we pray for him? <laughs> don't worry, I understand. Anton? Sorry, I gotta go. Fran, I really hope uh, you and that person work out. What? Oh, hey. Thanks for everything. Because of you, I was able to see Fran's beautiful smile. Anton, I don't know what to say. Don't bother. I don't need to be comforted or babied. This happens to me all the time. My life is, and always will be, a clumsy series of trial and error. Maybe someday things will work out for a guy like me. I do not quite follow. <laughs> Didn't you notice? That tranquil, happy face when Fran says she has someone she loves? After I saw that, I knew I was going nowhere fast. I just had to give up. And that's that, friends. Ooh, that guy is ultra depressed. It may take some time, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Ah, Eton really did leave. He must have been running late for his airship or something, I guess. Fran! Noe, what's up? You look like you saw a ghost or something. Fran, give it to me straight. Who's this person you supposedly love? Is it Lloyd? Or don't tell me. Randy. Whoa, hold on. I was wondering why the sergeant major was being so quiet. This answers that question, then. Oh boy, now, now that the cat's out of the bag, it looks like... Hey, Randy, I'm going to stop you right there. Don't make things even more complicated. That smile could stop a rhino cider. I haven't seen one of those in a while. You tell me everything, don't you? Why would... Uh, you hide something as big as this from me. He isn't uh, some troublemaker you can't tell anyone about, is he? C calm down, Noe. Everyone is looking at us funny. There's no time. Tell me. Pretend the rest of them are sacks of potatoes or something. Oh, jeez, Noe. If you want to know that bad, I'll give you a hint. Special someone works in the Crossbell Guardian Force has a very strong sense of justice. And they've always been as kind as can be to me. He's in the CGF? He isn't stationed at Tangram Gate, is he? They are. I never knew someone in my unit uh, was that close to you. Is it Jack? Burl? No, wait. Is it Mr. Temis from the mess hall? This is getting a little out of hand. <sighs> I'm disappointed, Noe. I thought you would have figured it out by now. You didn't give me much to go on. Are you really going to make me say it? Isn't it obvious I was talking about you? You're kidding. Oopsie, my break's almost over. I'll see you later. Take good care of Noe for me. Yeah, see ya, friend. Huh, <laughs> so that's how it was, huh? Doubt Fran will uh, know about romance for a while, with a head like that on her shoulders. At least the Sergeant Major here can rest easy for now. Oh, thank God, yes. Thank you. Hey, are you doing alright, Sergeant Major? Sorry about that, it's just I suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion hit me. Ah, you really were worried about her. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard there. Sorry, guys. I never meant to let you see that side of me. Thank you for helping me with this mess. 
Still, I can't help but feel bad for Anton. Do you think he'll ever love again? Are you not feeling sorry for yourself too, Lloyd? I saw your eyes light up when Fran said there was someone she loved. That definitely didn't happen, and I'd really appreciate it if you didn't make misleading comments like that. Anyway, we can always go check on Anton when we're free later. For now, I'd say our job here is done. Yeah, I guess so. Ready to go, guys? <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. Seriously? Hey, Anton. I fear my heart will shatter into pieces if I suffer another unrequited love. Hey, Ricky. What should I have done differently? I feel a little bad for him, but I think we should give him some space. I mean, on the one hand, you know, it's not like she rejected him, but whatever. So we're back at Ving South because there's actually another request here. Oh, wow. Okay. In the kitchen? Nope. You there. Oh no, what do I do? The manager and Braun won't help me. What in the world do I do? Excuse me, we received a request from an employee here named Celtio. Do you know him by any chance? You came to help me? Oh, thank you, thank you. You're the, um... Special support section. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We'd love to help you if you'll have us. Yep, the customer is always right. We're always here to help. I get the feeling I'm becoming sort of an errand boy. So your request, it involves searching for something, right? Yes, that's right. Save me, man. You see, I was told by the manager to try and come up with a new dish for the restaurant. But yeah, it's not going well. I've uh, reached my creative limit. It's useless. It's all useless. Well, that kind of thing happens to everyone. Even if you're a pro chef, it's not like, uh, it's not that easy to always be coming up with new stuff, I guess. Basically, having to cook for celebrities from time to time doesn't make it any easier. So, what? That's why I need you to help me. I heard your division mingles with the public a lot, so I thought uh, that you might have been uh, to your fair share of restaurants. I'm looking for dishes that are truly unique, entrees that. Uh, you sometimes make when thinking outside the box. As in peculiar dishes? Kinda like when you set out to cook an omelette rice but wind up with something completely different. Is that what you mean? Exactly! That's the very essence of cuisine. There's a fine line between failure and success. That, my friend, is where um, new ideas wait for us. So, you guys cook too? That's perfect. Now my expectations are sky high. I don't think anything uh, we make is fit for a professional chef, personally. Anyway, I think we understand your issue now. We just need to bring you peculiar dishes we uh, made, right? Yep, that'd be great. I want to compare all of them, so I'll need at least ten. But I mean, the more the merrier. Cook as many as you can. That about wraps it up, I think. My taste buds and I will be waiting. Alright, um... So apparently, this request is held off for a while. So, um... We're gonna kinda have to ignore it for now. So... And I don't even have that many recipes. Also, uh... Do... do here we go. This is the team I wanted. Anyway. Let's see. Chapter 4. So we can do an overdue book retrieval. Or we can go fight a monster. May cause faint. Let's go take that one on. Uh, I'm going to cut to West Crossbow Highway. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to see about items and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, so 
We're on the screen where the monster is supposed to be. So, uh, let's go fight it. What the hell is this? Kill it! <laughs> Kill them! They're like... What are they? They're tough, that's... That's for sure. Let's see, Battle Scub. Let's go. What are they? Level 31, Crag Rasp. A golem monster made from a collection of earth. Its simplistic attacks rely on weight. Don't use earth. Alright. Uh, attack! These things are level 31. Cross Mirage, go! All right, get going, get going, Lloyd. All right, uh, let's use some wind. Not worth it yet. Another aerial, please. They're gonna hit like trucks. Oh god, and that's with his defense. Okay, not hitting as hard as I feared, but still hits pretty hard. All right, one's dead. <clears throat> All right, ladies. Here we go. Get another one ready. Well, now I don't need another one. Be enough. Yeah. Are we sure that wasn't the 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 wanted monster? All right. So, <clears throat> sorry about that uh, awkward cut. From monster to entering the screen. Uh, I ran out of battle scopes. Oh geez. It's a bigger one. Let's kill it. Yeah, it's just a bigger one of the, uh, the other things that we just fought. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. I didn't really heal much off screen. Um... Give him the chop. Oh god. Battle scope, let's go. And the scope says weak to wind. No duh, level 32. Resistant a lot. Extremely dense earth packed together crushes everything with overwhelming power. Good to know. Ariel. Let's go, Burning Heart! Alright, Lloyd, uh... Start hitting. Here we go. Oof. Oh, they're not close enough together. Shoot. Blast Storm, let's go. Let's 
June with the rocket launcher. Oh, hell yeah. You know what? Let's go for a tiger charge. Alright, uh, now we go back to stuff like Ariel. Oh god! Oh well! Uh, let's see, what can I do? Ooh, impassion. I like, I like the sound of that. I could use her S break, but I don't know. Grand impact. Well, can't. Jeez, they take so much. They deal so much damage. All right, that'll help us. At least get them back up. I don't want Lloyd to suffer status effects, so... There we go. Tell us. Crash bomb won't work. War cry will. Revive. Did he steal that from? Okay, now they're both out. Alright, first off, holy breath. We kind of need this. Hang in there, Randy. Oh, if I can... It'll be too late. But I still need to get her back up. Explodes compressed lava, you say? Whew. There we go. Oh. And Lloyd's down. And he's back up. What is this? Cures ailments except KO. Okay. So it's Luck Curia. I guess now it's Re Curia. Huh. It's weird how they change some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll use a Tira on yourself. Oh, thanks. Uh,. Turn uh, list. Ariel. There we go. That didn't help at all. Okay, I'm getting tired of you. Die already. You'll get him with that. And then this should kill this other one. Crimson Gale. Yes. Dead. That was rough. But we're level 29 now. We got some UD materials. Yay. 
Alright, so... Uh, let's head on back. Alright, so we're back from our extermination quest. Let's uh, head on over to the administrative district. And let's get started on the uh, other support request. <clears throat> the Basically, the expansion on the library. The, uh, the missing library books. This is CPD. That's the CPD. Where's the library? <laughs> well, I don't go here that often, do I? There it is. Hi again, Uncle Miles. Ah, oh, Lloyd, it's good to see you. Could it be? Yep, we're here for work. He requests our help, right? Yep, I sure did. I'm glad you guys came so quickly. Thank you, I'm in your debt. I believe you were asking for help to locate and retrieve overdue books. Haven't we done this before? Yep, this isn't the first time I've requested this of you. Let's get to it, shall we? Allow me to explain the details. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Great, I'll get to it then. We've had several cases of people forgetting to return their books. I'm terribly sorry, but I'd like for you to locate and return the books uh, to me once more. I'm not surprised to see this many people failing uh, to return their books on time. Well, whatever. Let's just knock this bad boy out of the park again. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but it won't be as easy this time. Care to elaborate? Every person with an overdue book is not a citizen of Crossbell City. They live, all, uh, live on the outskirts of the state. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you at least have their addresses? I sure do. First up is Alfred, who lives in Amorica Village. Next is Logie. He's a miner that lives in Mainz. Lastly, we have uh, Flora, a medical intern at St. Ursula Medical College. They really are on the outskirts. Man, you telling me we gotta go all over the state for some books? I hate disorganized people. Now, now, this isn't so bad. I told you it was going to be difficult. There was a reason we couldn't do it ourselves. Anyway, do you mind taking care of this for your uncle? On the bright side, we can use my car if we do it right now. That wouldn't be too bad, right? That's not a bad idea. Sounds like we'll be relying on you to drive us around, Sergeant Major. I think it's time we get started. Great, thank you. Please return to me once you've collected all three books count on you everyone the statewide overdue book retrieval quest has begun so like what is the process for for um what's we call it like if you wanted to check out a book but you live in like a morica what do you do you just come here and be like yeah i live in a morica it was like, uh, right? And the car should be, there it is. It is so good that they don't care. I can rest in here? Well, I want to hire you on full time. Uh, let's see. So we're going to Amorica Village. <clears throat> 